Hello friends, I'm glad to be here with you as we continue making our story ornaments. We started on the first day of Christmas. Let me bring them over here. And that was December 25th. And we're making these all throughout the 12 days of Christmas as we travel to January 6th, which is Epiphany, when we celebrate the wise ones reaching Jesus. So we started out with drawing the city of Bethlehem because that's where Joseph and Mary were traveling when Jesus was born. Then we drew Mary, Jesus's mother. We drew Joseph, Jesus's earthly father. We then drew the stable where he was born. And then we drew the baby Jesus and the manger in which he was laid, the feeding trough, because they didn't have a pack and play for him. And then we drew the shepherds who were the first ones to receive the good news that Jesus was born. And now it's time to draw the angels. They have an important part in the story. We have the angels that visit Mary and Joseph. We have the angels that visited Joseph, um, uh, the shepherds. So your choice, when you're telling the story, you could have the angel represented, representing the ones that visited Mary or Joseph. You could have the angel representing um, the shepherd, the angels that visited the shepherds. I'm sorry, my mouth is going too fast for my brain. It doesn't matter where you use them in the story. In fact, you could bring them out twice and have them come and talk, or three times, talking with Mary, talking with Joseph, talking with the shepherds. The angels are very important in this. So let's draw an angel. Now, I'm gonna put these over to the side. I'm gonna bring my new tree cookie over. These tree cookies are just pieces of branches that my husband cut for me. If you don't have that, you can get them from the craft store, or you could take a walk around your neighborhood and grab some rocks and use those. And then you have story stones instead of story ornaments. Up to you. You could use paper doesn't matter. You can use Sharpies to draw this. You can use pencils. You can use paint markers. You can use whatever you think will work best for you. There's no wrong way to do it. So let's get busy on the angels. I am not an artist. I like to use a pencil to start myself off I, because I make mistakes and I like to fix them. Uh, I do this with all sorts of different age levels. I've done it in all sorts of faith formation settings and in retreat sessions. And I do it in my own house where I have seven kids between the ages of two and 19, plus my sister with Down syndrome. She enjoys doing this too. Uh, this is a project for everyone. Let's make our angels. Now, I like to start my angel with a triangle shape for the gown that the angel would traditionally wear. So that's a triangle shape. I hope you can see that. And then I put a face on top and I make the angel's face kind of round. I like to imagine that the angels were talking so I make a round mouth in there because that's how I show that someone is talking. And then I have the eyes up here. And then I'm gonna get creative on how I do the hair. I'll do that when I have my markers out. And then I like to outline where I'm gonna have the wings. Now, you can choose to make the wings however you want. I kind of go like a half um, flower petal shape to represent the wings. I think I'm going to make my angel's dress Mm, green. I'm going to go for green this time. So I will do that triangle with the green. Can you see? It's coming out better now, right? You can see what I have there. Or not dress, but gown. And as I mentioned on the last video, it can be hard to color on a tree cookie, but if you go diagonally, you tend not to get stuck on the ridges inside of the tree cookie. See there? There's the dress. Now, I am going to use some yellow to outline the wings. I could use gold if I had my gold Sharpie here or silver. I imagine the wings are pretty shimmery. So I like to go for a lighter color on that. There we go, I'm outlining those wings. You could even add glitter if your family is cool with using glitter. Can you see the wings now? So you've got the body, you've got wings. Now it's time for the head. I am going to pull out a brown marker and I am going to go with hair that is like halfway down the head and kind of curly because that way it can represent all sorts of different people and different hairstyles. I don't want to commit to just one kind of angel because there are all sorts of angels. Um, and if I'm going to reuse this in different parts in the story, I want to have this as versatile as possible. So I'm going to go like that for the hair. I'm going to go like this for the eyes. And then I am going to grab my red for the mouth where the angel is speaking or singing good news. It depends upon where you're using the story. So there's my first angel. 
And I, if I have extra tree cookies or stones, I would probably make a few more to throw in here, but I'm just going for 12 on this since we're doing the 12 days of Christmas. So that's my angel and I'm adding it to my lineup here of the city of Bethlehem, Mary, Joseph, bring them over. The stable, baby Jesus, the manger, the shepherd, and now the angel and join me next time when we are going to make something that is very shimmery are you ready see you soon bye friends